Flounder fury in the Garden State. Some fishermen are fired up this season. Eyewitness News reporter Clee Bryan headed down to the shore where people explained why they feel this is a real issue. The boat underway, the bait on the hooks, and the sun shining. Now all that's missing on the Duke of Fluke Friday afternoon are the flounder to take home. Nope, that's a throwback, and so's this one. With Captain Brooke Konecki's knowledge of the bay around Summers Point, customers didn't have too much trouble catching flounder, just a hard time getting ones big enough to keep. About 17 and a half. Yeah, that terrible. just misses. The size limit this year for summer flounder is the same as last year, 18 inches, but that's only because the state of New Jersey rejected new federal guidelines for 19 inches. There's, there's no good reason on earth why they should keep on raising the size limit. New Jersey's decision to snub federal guidelines comes after an analysis by Montclair State University that found raising the size limit to 19 inches could cost the state's flounder industry $800 million and about 3,500 jobs. Konecki thinks federal regulators have gone way too far. I think it's a pathetic performance. Refusing to come into compliance could backfire and lead to a federal ban on flounder fishing in New Jersey this summer. A decision on that is pending right now. Trying to compromise the state of New Jersey shortened the summer flounder season by almost a month. Not only have they shortened the summer flounder season this year, they've also cut back on the number of keepers you can take home from five to three. Although I'm still working on my first. Frank Diorio caught the day's only keeper. John Spitz caught two just under the legal limit. What's it like having to throw back that kind of fish? Uh, for me, it's almost normal. Uh, keepers are far and few between. So, are you okay with that? Uh, you accept it. Doesn't matter whether you're okay or not. It's right. just a fact of life. Can't mount most of these fish, but you can always take pictures. Oh, In Summers Point, Cleve Bryan, CBS3 Eyewitness News.